So I went to an auto repair complex where there were several places. There was a British repair, there was a uh, Japanese car repair, there was a radiator shop, there was an auto parts store. There were several different stores uh, that repaired, addressed auto service. The third door that I knocked on hired me. And I ended up having a little bit of a career at that shop. First as a mechanic, then I became the assistant manager, then I became the uh, director of sales for the company. I was a sales manager with two people working under me. And that was in Los Angeles. And uh, I enjoyed that, learned a lot about cars, got a lot of experience, worked with managing people, worked with sales, had responsibility for sales, sales quotas, things like that. And at that point, I think I was about 19 years old, 20 years old. And then um, I still did the carpet cleaning on the side. So I still had that side business where I'd go and make money on the weekend. So I had my job at the radiator shop, and I also had my job at carpet cleaning that I was doing. Always doing something on the side. When I reached 25 years old, at 1985, end of the year, Christmas time, I went to um, work with advertising trips for college students. So the way they would do that is they would put a flyer on the wall at a bulletin board in a college campus saying, take a trip to Europe and you know, it's this package price and go with your friends and have a great time. So between that offer and several other offers, I visited colleges all around America with my little green car and would post these notices on the boards, basically kind of littering the campuses. It wasn't really a, a great job. I didn't feel that good about it because I felt like I was kind of making a mess. But I was making a thousand dollars a week and that was important to me. So I uh, continued that job for a while until it wasn't worth the money I was making. I still didn't feel right about the job. I couldn't resolve that. I quit that job and I stopped in Tallahassee, Florida where I met a, a woman and she and I became roommates and we became friends and I started studying the computer business. This was at the age of 26. I opened up for business teaching WordPerfect uh, software, word processing software. And uh, we left Florida to go to San Diego and live in San Diego because she wanted to get away from Florida. So I opened up shop in San Diego. I ended up being there about 15 years as a computer consultant. My job grew from teaching word perfect classes to teaching classes in, as one-on-one -on -one, to teaching classes in businesses to writing software for small businesses to writing software for hospitals to doing systems for hospitals. So I would do um, data management systems and other systems analysis for the key hospital chains in San Diego. Uh, at that point I got tired of uh, only doing this kind of work and I got more and more interested in community projects. I joined a community organization there, um, quit most of my consulting, made no money, worked in a community organization, found that most of the organizations there were not as efficient as it could be. A lot of times there was a lot of cronyism, a lot of stealing, a lot of inefficiency, and we weren't really helping the community. So I started getting the ideas about, wow, how can I really help the community more effectively? I wrote my own newsletter, distributed it, I started an organization, but it didn't really go anywhere. I ran out of money, I got totally broke. I thought, I'm not gonna go back to consulting for a lot of different companies. I'll just work for one. So I went to Hewlett Packard. And I had a friend there that hired me. I worked at Hewlett Packard for 18 months as a consultant in their printer division there in San Diego. I wrote software, I did networks, I did systems, I did web pages for the first time. We're learning how to use CGI to pull data from database back in and put it on a web page. This was a little bit newer technology at the time. And I was working with Microsoft ASP pages too, doing that. When I was done there, um, I went to San Francisco and became a consultant in San Francisco. I was done with San Diego, I was tired of San Diego, so I decided I'm gonna go up and check out another area. I worked in San Francisco for a couple of years for companies like Charles Schwab and Chase Manhattan and some other large businesses as a consultant. Um, this is 19, we're getting up to 1998, 1999 now, and I was billing between 75 and $100 an hour, working, billing, you know, enough so I was making about $15,000 a month, but my life was empty again because I wasn't doing anything with community. I wasn't doing anything.